drama. An animal to also carry a human gene, one that produces a protein called clotting factor 9. I think this will bring in a whole new era of medical research. Like Dolly, Polly was cloned from the cell of a single sheep. But during the cloning, scientists inserted the human clotting gene missing in most haemophiliacs. The intent is to make the clotting factor in her milk. You would extract the protein that you want from the milk, purify it to a very, very high degree, extraordinarily pure product, and then you'd inject it into the patient. Other animals have carried human genes, but the quality of the proteins they produce is not consistent because the animals are all different. Clones promise to be better because they're identical and can be mass-produced. So while Dolly was a stunning breakthrough, Polly's the first designer clone, an animal customised to improve people's health. Ian Ramage, ITN. Two Bosnian Croats wanted for an atrocity four years ago have been taken to The Hague to stand trial before a war crimes tribunal. It's been reported they were seized by members of the SAS assisting Dutch NATO troops in Bosnia yesterday. They resisted and one was hit three times in a gun battle. Reporting from The Hague, here's our diplomatic editor, Robert Moore. The two suspects are behind bars here in The Hague and prosecutors are expressing increasing confidence that justice is finally catching up with those who organized and perpetrated some of the worst atrocities of the Bosnian war. NATO forces flew the two prisoners straight from central Bosnia to The Hague, the seat of the war crimes tribunal. One, Vladko Kupreskic, was brought out on a stretcher, having been wounded in the gun battle surrounding his capture. We understand from Esford that Vladko Kupreskic was shot and wounded during the operation because he opened fire on Esford soldiers with an automatic weapon. Dutch special forces had snatched the two men from their homes in an overnight raid that reveals a new determination to hunt down those suspected of war crimes during the Bosnian conflict. Some 50 other suspects have failed to surrender to NATO-led forces. Kupreskic is linked to one of the most shocking atrocities of the war, when men from a Bosnian Croat militia massacred unarmed Muslim civilians in the village of Armici. The killings were in an area being patrolled by British soldiers serving in central Bosnia in 1993. It outraged the British commander, who stumbled on the massacre at the time. There are whole families up here that have been massacred. I'd like to know who's done it. Who has done it? Who is responsible? Colonel Bob Stewart expressed satisfaction that justice is finally catching up with those linked to the Amici massacres. Thrilled. There's a lot more. I'm thrilled to bits that those people, because these are people that have actually done the job. These are the people that actually took their weapons and took women and children out. President Clinton, acknowledging how fragile is the peace, has said US troops will now have to remain in Bosnia open-ended. If we pull out before the job is done, Bosnia almost certainly will fall back into violence, chaos, and ultimately a war every bit as bloody as the one that was stopped. The two Bosnian Croats will soon appear before the war crimes tribunal. Prosecutors insist that justice for Bosnia's victims is an integral part of achieving peace. But of course, the two men judged by many to be most responsible for the atrocities of the Bosnian war, Radovan Karadzic and Radko Mladic, are both free men. Only their arrest and trial for crimes against humanity will mark the ultimate breakthrough for the war crimes tribunal. The cross-channel train service... <laughs>